Ja, ich bin auf dem Land. I grew up in the countryside on my parents' farm. I think that gave me a special appreciation for nature and all the valuable resources it holds. That's partly why I use my bicycle as much as possible. But I would never have guessed that the fields of yellow dandelions I used to ride past would one day form part of my work. I looked for alternative ways to produce natural rubber, which is primarily sourced from the rubber tree Hevea brasiliensis in Southeast Asia. Rising demand means that cultivated areas of Hevea are expected to be fully exploited by 2020, even though more and more of the rainforest is being cleared for cultivation purposes. Fungal diseases are making the situation even worse. Researchers at the Fraunhofer Institute for Molecular Biology and Applied Ecology IME in Münster have developed all prerequisites so that the Russian dandelion variety can be utilized as an alternative source to the rubber tree, a finding that could revolutionize rubber production worldwide. Natural rubber is accumulated in particularly high amounts in the dandelion roots, but naturally occurring wild varieties are not suitable for cultivation on an industrial scale. We had to find out which genes in the Russian dandelion are responsible for the production of natural rubber. We managed to monitor the presence of the responsible genes in the genome, so that now we are able to identify elite lines already at an early stage of plant development. By doing so, we already managed to double the rubber content, all without any genetic engineering. The Russian dandelion is a modest plant species that can be cultivated under moderate climate conditions, even on land with low potential for food and feed production. Local cultivation would reduce our dependency on imports. What's more, the team of researchers at Fraunhofer IME has developed an eco-friendly method of extraction. Once the roots have been ground up, the raw material can be separated from the remaining substances using just water. Natural rubber is the source of some 40,000 products that are used in our everyday lives. Its most important application, which accounts for some 80% of natural rubber use, is in tyre production. We can obviously keep improving the plants in our own cultivation process, but to test the quality in line with industrial criteria, we decided to start working with Continental a few years ago. As part of a joint research project, batches of tyres were produced from dandelion rubber and tested according to the strict criteria for natural rubber. So far, our tyre testing has revealed that the tyres made from dandelion rubber have the same properties as those made from Hevea natural rubber. We wouldn't tolerate any drop in performance, a key issue for tyre experts like us. The demand for natural rubber is rising by 3% a year. If we could help to cover a part of this with an eco-friendly solution, then all our efforts will have been worthwhile.